Hello. Oh, you know, maybe I can... Maybe this is... Maybe this is good. Hello. We've got moving pictures here today. Pictures that move. Can you believe it? It's magic. Today, uh... I'm going to try and animate some stuff for the stream. I am not an animator. I've tried a little bit before, I guess. But I'm not really an animator. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, what I've got right here is, um, I don't know, I, I guess I wanted this for like, for like the follower alert that plays whenever I get uh, followers so it this this little this little waving animal crossing me uh, if everything goes well will come up whenever I can just I can just play that alert right even if nothing's happening so if I do this um, that that's that's the alert that I wanted this to come up next to like whenever that comes up uh, I've already got, like, the rough animation for this, and one other, uh, scribbled down. The other one I'm not sure if I want to use, um, but I do think I want to use this one. So I'm going to, uh, today I'm going to clean this up, and, uh, I guess, I guess we'll just see how it goes. I can't decide, um, ooh, excuse me, can't decide really whether I want to um, well, let's turn this music down a bit. I don't know how loud it is, uh, I don't know how loud it is for stream, but it's a little bit loud for me. Uh, that's probably fine. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I can't decide whether I want to, um, as I'm, as I'm cleaning this up, I can't decide whether I want to use, like, a, uh, a rough, a rough pencil line, like this, or whether I want to use, like, uh, oh, we would definitely make that larger, but I can't decide whether I want, like, a rough pe pencil line or a thick pen line, um, any thoughts? Anybody in the chat? Probably not. I have, I have the, the world's most silent chat. Um, I think I'll just start with the pencil. It'll probably look fine. Uh, actually, let me get my... Um, let me get, let me get my, uh, there's something I forgot to open. Opening up my, um, little Twitch chat overlay program so that I don't have to, uh, so that I don't have to tab over to Streamlabs to check if somebody has said something. I forgot that I have this, because I've spent so much goddamn time, uh, doing... Majora's Mask Randomizer lately, which I just have running in a window, um, in windowed mode, usually, so I can just see Streamlabs chat room behind, behind the, uh, no, that matters. Let's start drawing. I think I need to make a new folder on top of this one. I'm not, like, uh, super used to, um, animating obviously and using uh, clip studio for animation I only have like the um, I, I only have like I don't have the like the the EX version or whatever I just have the pro version so I'm only allowed like 24 frames of animation but that's gonna just that's gonna work just fine uh, for what we're doing here today um, let's see New animation cell. Uh, first stage. Actually, you know what? What I should do first before animating all these new cells is have a um, 
uh, clean up this base drawing. Because how I, how I basically have it set up here is... Uh, I don't know if you can see... Oh, you, you, can see, you can see my whole screen. Over on the left here, I've got all these folders. This animation folder here, that's got these uh, five frames in it. Um, that's just... Uh, without this base drawing here, that's just the arm. Because that's the only part I have moving. Um, but the rest of it is just... Uh, just this. I haven't decided yet what I want my little character to be wearing. Uh, whether I want to just use the outfit that I have drawn in my avatar, which is like an outfit that I own in real life, but don't really wear anymore. Maybe I'll pick out another outfit to put on my little character here. So this morning, um, what am I doing? I, I jumped right in with like, uh, with like several pencil strokes. When I'm trying to clean this up, I should be going for like... Uh... Clean... Clean strokes, lines, shapes, words. Um... So I woke up this morning... Uh... To the sensation of... What I'm pretty sure was an earthquake happening. Um... Heard like some crashing or whatever in the distance. Oh, that's the wrong tool. And, uh... I think this is like the third time in my life that, uh... I've just been lying in bed as an earthquake happens, thinking... I should probably get up, right? Like, should I be getting up and, like, seeking shelter so a building doesn't fall on my head and I die? And then I don't get up. I just lie there in bed like, oh, this one's not so bad. I'll probably be fine, right? And then there's always a part of me that's like, you know what? If I did get crushed right now, I think I'm good. I think I'm satisfied with that. Oh, thanks. I'm not really, uh, very practiced at animation. I think I have, like, something of a basic understanding of how things move, sort of, but only sometimes. Which is, uh, actually a pretty good, um, a, a pretty good descriptor of my art in general. Jijing Tin Live, thanks for the follow. <laughs> when I'm done with this little animation, that's gonna play whenever somebody follows. Uh... Yeah, what was I saying? My, my art in general. I only know what I'm doing most of the time. <laughs> and that seems to be enough so far. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. I, I, I woke up this morning to an earthquake. Uh, it wasn't a very strong one. And as I understand, it wasn't very close to me. But, uh... The, um, haven't thought about what? Oh, like, uh, animations for, like, um, alerts? But yeah, the, the earthquake wasn't very close to me, and obviously I'm fine, my neighbors are fine. I don't think there are any buildings around me that got wrecked or anything. But this is, like, not the first time in my life that, uh... This is, like, not the first time in my life that I've, like, been conscious during an earthquake and just kind of lay there because I didn't want to get out of bed. One of these days I'm going to be lying in bed and an earthquake's just going to fucking crush me because I don't want to stand. That's how I'm going to go. <laughs> Oops. Uh... That doesn't quite look right. Maybe a little... Maybe a little less on this side. Yeah. Now that I, uh... Actually have somebody in chat, I can... 
I can get feedback from what's my volume level like here. Music too loud? Too quiet? Music level is fine. Good. My uh, first ever stream, I uh, I did some. I was like half art stream, half Hades stream, and I didn't realize uh, until after the vod, um, or until after later when I was when I was looking at the vod, that uh, the music I had playing the entire time was basically inaudible to the audience and nobody told me because they didn't realize there was supposed to be music play because there was no music play. And now I and now I'm constantly stressed about audio levels even though they're usually probably fine. Oh this looks kind of fucked up when I flip it. But that's just how art do. Maybe I, um... Hmm. Do I want to scoot this over a bit? Or is it just per perspective? It's probably fine. I'll ignore it. Uh... Uh, no, I won't ignore it. Maybe we... Maybe we scooch this over just a little bit. Faith can go this way. I was considering doing, like, a little blinking animation as well, but this animation is so short, uh, I would just have my little avatar here blinking all the time, because it's like a, it's like a less than a second animation. Oh, I turned off the layer where stuff actually moves. Yeah, if you see at the timeline here, I think that's like half a second or something. So if I were to throw a blink in there, it would be way too fast. I could make the animation longer and have it like loop a couple times and then blink, but um, Clip Studio won't let me do that. I have to give them more money in order to make longer animations, which I actually wouldn't mind doing. I love that uh, for Clip Studio, I don't need to like pay a subscription. You just pay them one time, and you can use the uh, you can use the program forever, and they update it constantly. You don't need to pay for new updates. You don't need to pay a subscription, and the program's like constantly on sale too. You can get the EX version for like fifty bucks sometimes, I think, and the regular version for like twenty. Yeah. I've I've been thinking about upgrading uh, when the when it goes on sale, but that uh, costs money. I don't have that. What are we looking at here? This is a little uneven. It looks uneven anyway. How uneven is it actually? Like not very. And I think we've got. Oh, I see, I see what's bugging me about this. It's uneven in, like, the wrong direction. Because the head is sort of tilted this way. It should be on... It should be on that line there. Not that my hair is ever perfectly even anyway. But Cartoon Me can have better hair. Cartoon Me is allowed. <laughs> what is this strange Pikmin song that's playing? Uh. Oh, I guess it was just the cave theme from Pikmin 3. Uh Pikmin's got some Pikmin's got some good ass music. 
Let me turn that arm back off. I think I think I do want to use the rougher line for this instead of the. Uh... Oh yeah, thanks for stopping by. Uh, what I was saying is I do want to. I think I do want to use the rough line instead of the um, instead of the cleaner pen tool, if for no other reason than uh, the the rougher line will look less fucked up if I transform it. Like if I take this and I stretch it this way, uh, on on the on the pixel level that nobody's gonna be able to fucking see anyway, it looks kind of weird. I don't know if this is even demonstrating whatever I'm trying to communicate. It doesn't matter. Point is, I'm using the pencil. Is this, is this where I want it now? These are probably about even now. No, this one's a little higher. That's good. I'm going to leave that like that. Uh, I'm going to leave that the way it is. Oops. 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 Drawing streams are going to be a lot of this. Just me redoing the same line over and over for hours. Try to do it all in one quick stroke to have it look as, as clean as possible. I could probably fuck with my stabilizer settings um, and try to do like a slower, a slower stroke and achieve similar results, and that might be easier. But I've been drawing this way uh, for like. Oh god, like six, maybe seven years now? Jesus. So maybe I just stick with what I know. Do these little tufts make sense? Whatever, they were in the sketch, I'm gonna leave them there. Uh-oh. We got some circles. I don't do well with these. Nope. 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 Maybe we can work with this one. Nah, hold on. One more try. <laughs> I know there's a circle tool that I can use, but it won't look right. Okay, this, I can work with this. Uh, let's just transform this a little bit. kind of round off the weird parts a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get this into quite the shape that I want. Nah. Uh, hmm. What's the most efficient way to go about this and have it still look the way I want it to? Maybe I can get away with... Maybe I can do away, uh, get away with doing half at a time. Let's uh, squish this one a bit. Maybe erase a little bit here. I flip my canvas a lot uh, because I, I, I um, have a habit of drawing 
using mostly wrist motions. I know I'm... I know you're supposed to, like, move from your elbow. But as I said, I've been drawing a certain way for a very long time. And it's hard to change. Anyway, I'll, I'll spin my canvas um, because certain certain strokes are easier when it's angled a certain way. How does that look without the... Oh yeah, that's clean enough. Maybe we shave off a little bit on the bottom here. Smooth this out a bit. Okay, uh... No, wrong folder. I wanted this one back. There we go. Maybe I decrease opacity on this a little more. Man, I would love to play Pikmin on stream. I gotta get me, like, a TV or a second monitor to play console games on. Because I have, like, a console, and obviously I have a TV that I play those games on, but it's not by my computer, which I would need it to be for my setup. And I can't very easily just move the TV from the other room. This, uh... This iris is fucked up. Why'd I put that there? That's not where it goes. It's close enough, I guess. Maybe we have it come down like that. This doesn't quite look right either. Is that what I want? That's very slanted. Can we... Oh, uh, no, it's too overlapping with the other lines. I should have been using, like, a buffer layer. Usually I like to... Or when I'm... When I'm doing line work like this, I like to have, like the layer that all the lines are on, and then another layer above it like this, so that I've got a line intersecting here, um, I can like, clean it up, like erase it a bit, or like, manipulate it however I want without fucking up, uh, everything underneath. I didn't have my buffer layer down, and now I do! So maybe, maybe now that I have that, I just try Instead of aligning myself perfectly with this shape, I just try drawing an oval, drawing a good oval, better oval, please. Oh no, maybe I can work with this one. Enough, right? Looks a little weird on this side. Maybe we free transform this way a little bit. Tilt it like this. Is this a Pikmin song? Oh no, it's definitely a Pikmin song. When it started, I was like, this sounds like Animal Crossing now a little bit. Like something that might play at night. But then it got just like a few degrees weirder. And I was like, oh no, this is definitely Pikmin. I think they might have had... Uh... The same composers. I don't know if I'm satisfied with this. With this shape. How does it look without the... Uh, it's good enough. I can always redo it if I end up hating it or whatever. Oh, that was actually pretty close for a first 
circle attempt. this a bit here. Is this like a way different size than this other eye? Maybe we make it just a little bigger. Because of the angle I have going, I think it would be just a teensy bit smaller anyway than this other eye. Yeah, that's fine. I can have uneven eyeballs. Honestly, maybe I should use this this rough pencil tool for uh, line work more often, just because of how forgiving it is. For the longest time, I was like obsessed with having like the cleanest lines. These days I try to, uh, I try to be a little lazier with my art, I guess, uh, so that I don't burn out so hard and I actually, uh, enjoy drawing still. Lately I've, uh, I think recently I've been, like, more burnt out on art than I've ever been. I pushed myself so hard for so long. And, uh, it's stopped having fun. So I'm trying to, uh... Trying to make it fun again. We'll see how it goes. I really don't like the way this looks. I think it's the way the top of the iris is intersecting with the eyelid there. Maybe I'll tweak it once I have uh, the other eye down and I have a better idea of what I want it to look like. I remember for for the longest time, uh, even though I had the ability to stream art for the longest time, this is the reason why I wasn't streaming art, because I didn't want to watch, I, I didn't want to have everybody watching me uh, fuck up simple things. But now I care a little less. How does this look? This eye looks good. Left one's still kind of fucked up. Okay, we do want to tweak this, I think. Uh, so let's... Get this out of here. Careful not to... Fuck up the, uh... You know what? Maybe we, um... Maybe we do a little trick. Maybe we do a little speedrun technique. Uh... As soon as I clean this up here. I'm erasing by just using, like, the transparent version 
of this pencil tool, so maybe there's some residue here. No, nothing really. Alright. Nobody look. Nobody watch. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do a shameful scrub technique. Oh no, that's, that was the wrong way. No, no, nobody really look. Uh, here it is. Actually, that's a bad attitude for me to have. You can and should copy-paste things. Work smarter, not harder. Uh, maybe we stretch it a bit, though. This was a mistake, putting on this Pikmin music. Just makes me really want to play Pikmin. I'm so fucking happy that they did Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Uh, not only did they port it to the Switch, but they made it so that the single player campaign is now multiplayer, which I always felt it should have been from the beginning. But now, uh... Now Pikmin 3 is on Switch, and it's like one of the best cooperative multiplayer experiences on the platform. Up there with like Luigi's Mansion 3 and uh, Divinity Original Sin 2. That looks a little wonky. That looks a little maybe like it's just a teeny bit, teensy bit worse than... What happened? Did I still have that cut and disconnected? I didn't mean to do that. Uh... Yeah, this looks a little fucked up. We, we can fix it, though. We just, uh, redraw this edge here. I flipped my canvas too many times and forgot which edge I'm working on. It's this one here. <laughs> How we look now. That's alright. That's pretty okay. Maybe I rotate it a little bit. Um, which layer did it go to? This one. Oh, not around that axis. Let's move it into the middle here. There we go. That looks good enough, right? Or do we want it tilted the other way a bit? Uh, I'm thinking maybe I want to straighten this one out a bit too. There we go. Tiny tweaks that almost nobody is going to notice. That's how I, that's how I do.
I'm really satisfied with um, the character customization in Animal Crossing uh, New Horizons. I made this uh, this avatar that I'm using like everywhere. Um, let's. Uh, I can. I think I can just open the file. Let me find it real quick. Uh, actually, important question. Do y'all see my file open window on stream? You don't. That's good. That's good. Might might have been a little risky to do that. Maybe maybe a little bit of TOS happening. Uh, where did I put that? Yeah. I've, I made this avatar that I've been using everywhere. Fuck that uh, Santa hat. I don't need that. I made this in like 2019 in anticipation of Animal Crossing uh, New Horizons. And uh, this is now my avatar that I use everywhere. Um, and I've been using it for years now, I'm realizing. 2019, Jesus. But uh, I made it before New Horizons came out. And then New Horizons came out. And uh, I was able to basically replicate this avatar exactly in game because their character customization is so good now. Like they had the eyes and the hairstyle built in. I had to design the freckles as a special makeup, and I um, designed the shirt. That's a shirt I have in real life, sort of. It's not just dots in real life; those little flowers. Uh, but yeah, I, th I think the character customization in New Horizons is neat. I'm not sure how I feel about the rest of the game. Like, I think it's a good game, and I did play for, like, hundreds of hours. But I, I just feel like it didn't have as much stuff as, uh, um, as, like, New Leaf did. But maybe that's just my imagination. Are my lines too thin? Do I want to be using thicker lines for this? If I do, that means I have to start over. Uh, and I don't... I don't want to do that. What what size pencil was I using? I think it was 15. Maybe we bump it up to 17. Uh, that doesn't look quite right either. I think it was 20. Yeah, that looks right. Let me get my stupid little goatee in here. I don't actually, um... My facial hair doesn't actually even look like this anymore, really. It's still the part of my face where I can grow the most hair, like, the most evenly. But, uh... I have been growing out my beard a little bit on the rest of my face. It's still patchier than I'd like. But covers a much larger area now. Does that look right? Oh, I drew that on the fucking, uh... animation layer. Hold on. Let me just snag that out of there. Oh, that's weird. Normally when you copy, um... Normally when you copy a layer... It'll name the new layer the same thing as the, um, previous one, but it'll say, like, it'll put, like, copy and then a number after it. So usually if I copied something from this layer and it came up to this new layer, which is highlighted here, it would, it would have been called, like, one copy one. Like it does down here. Or no, just, like, one copy. But, uh, I guess it decided to letter the layer instead, so instead of one it now just says onf. Come down here, onf. Oh, this is one of my favorite, uh, Pikmin tracks. Impact Sight. Uh, maybe we clean this up a little bit. Oh, 
Oh no. I accidentally color picked the white. Uh, let me swap to the special color picker that will pick up uh, whatever color this is regardless of what kind of transparency it is. Yeah, see how it always stays the same over here even as I'm going across. Uh, let's see. I probably also have like a color history palette that I'm just not using. Is that what I put over here? No, that's approximate color. Whatever, it doesn't matter. A lot of these programs have uh, like dozens of different ways to accomplish the same task. You just gotta find what works for you. I feel like I'm making this line worse as I try to clean it up. Here, let's get in there. There we go. That's good enough. Good enough is the name of the game today. Let's get some freckles in here. Boop. 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 Beep. Blop. Blurp. Does this, does this character have eyebrows? Oh, you know what? I've got a reference layer in here. I don't know why I went to all the trouble of opening that other file earlier. I've got him back there. He's a ghost. Uh, it's passed on. No eyebrows. Actually, do any Animal Crossing characters have eyebrows? Hang on. Let me just open up Google real quick. I feel like they do in New Horizons. Oh, they don't at all. And it looks like maybe they never have. Well, now I know. I gotta stop myself from just going, oh, I love this song, every time a new track starts playing. You know, I should probably... Well, let's turn the arm off again. I should probably lock this sketch layer so I don't accidentally um, transfer anything down to it. Typically, uh, Animal Crossing player characters don't have necks. I think that was, I think that was an added feature in New Horizons. Patch notes, necks added. Come on now. There we go. If I understand correctly, when I export this, uh, nothing outside this border will show up. Um, so I don't need to worry about that. I don't know why that's there. I think that's just like... Um, I think that's just like the way animation programs are. I don't know why that's there. I, I think I think in the animation industry there typically is a blank space around whatever you're drawing for some reason. But I'm not a professional. So I don't know whether the thing I just said is even right, and if it is, I don't know why. Huh. Hang on a second. 
Y'all hear that? There's just a... There's just like a sheep sound in this music that that halted my brain in its tracks for a second I thought I somehow managed to leave Minecraft open by accident or something <laughs> I wasn't even playing Minecraft today Do we want this line here? I guess it probably depends on what kind of shirt situation. I'm looking into my closet, trying to decide what uh, what outfit I want to try and draw. I had the idea to like, um, oh there's that sheep sound again. I had the idea to like, because uh, you can, in, in Streamlabs alert settings, you can make variants uh, that will just be selected at random for like each alert. So I was thinking, oh, maybe I draw a couple of different outfits. I'm not sure if I want to do that, but maybe, uh, maybe I have like a base thing set up uh, for if I want to add more outfits later. So yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll just leave this like that then, um, so that I can draw other outfits on top in the future if I want. But for today, let's, uh, let's put in, or maybe I should make the body separate from the head for convenience oops oops selection didn't need to be that big that's fine still gets the job done did we cut off there no look we gotta I'm very precise about my selections sometimes it's still not good enough I don't know how long this is gonna take. Maybe this will take up a whole stream. But I was thinking, after I'm done with this, maybe I, maybe I uh, swap over to something else. But this might take me forever, so who knows. Uh, what was I doing? All right, I was separating the head from the body. This kills the character. He's perished. Uh, I don't actually want to pull it away. I was doing that for a dumb bit. Uh, let's cut and paste. Let's actually uh, label this layer like a good, um, like a good artist might do. Uh, here we go. A smart artist. I shouldn't be mean to myself. Well, that's still kind of me. But I'm not a bad artist. I'm not the best. But I'm not a bad artist. Uh... Right, I was gonna get drawing a shirt... Setting this up so that I can draw myself in different outfits is going to get kind of complicated pretty fast, seeing as one of the arms is going to be moving. So I'd need like a variant for long sleeves, short sleeves, etc.
Um, <clears throat> Let's see. What do I have in this layer? Selection was not created because there's nothing in it. Okay, so this layer is empty. Let's uh, rearrange these. Hide that again. And we'll uh, just sort of draw over it here. Oh, let's name this. No, not that one. The one I just locked. This one. Let's name it uh, Body Base. And then we can, um, actually, instead of drawing over it, let's just, um, let's just duplicate this one. Then I think I want to have, like, uh, looking back into my closet again. How does the color on that shirt work? Kind of like that. I don't know if this is going to translate well into, uh, Animal Crossing. Uh, no, it doesn't really come in into that triangle shape. It's pretty rectangular. Let's, uh, well, let's turn off that base underneath so I don't get confused. I have this, uh, this big red, black, and white checkered shirt that I like a lot that I bought recently. Um, that I haven't really been able to wear because I was not looking close enough when I ordered it online and it's actually a, it's like made of fleece so it's really warm and uh, if I wore that in this weather I would die uh, no, I guess it kind of comes in at the bottom here Hmm. This doesn't look right. Uh. Can we. Move this so that it's. Angled differently? It's not a very good selection. Let's clean that up a bit. Just drag that over here a bit. And, uh, move this one. Come on. That's okay, we'll just cut that off. Making selections can get kind of awkward when you're like me. And you're constantly working at like a thousand times the zoom level you need to be working at. Let's just drag that one like this. There we go. That looks a little better. Submerged Castle? 
Yeah, this is a submerged castle from Pikmin 2. This is where all your Pikmin die. This is the spot where you perish. Okay. Uh... You know, I think that's it for the lines. Does this shirt have... No, this shirt does have, uh... Breast pockets. This is a little fucked up. This is not the straightest. Uh, that's okay, neither am I. Uh, maybe we move these down, though? I forgot to do my buffer layer thing again. That's okay. We can get a little messy. Because these are, like, unusually low on this shirt. Or maybe that's just because it's a little too big for me, which I like. Uh, in that kind of a shirt. I have a hard time uh, finding clothes that fit me. Because most... Uh, most medium-sized shirts are made for someone who's a few inches shorter than me. And, uh, or no, most, most large shirts are made for someone who's a few inches shorter than me, and most extra large shirts are made for someone who's a few dozen pounds heavier than me. Too tall to live. Uh, and yeah, that looks good enough. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to draw like one of my graphic tees underneath here. I think I'll just leave it black. <laughs> the way this is drawn right now looks like a fucking fishing vest. It's not, I promise. Okay. Now I think we can start on um, the arm. Uh, where did my, oh no, that's not even what I need. Okay, uh, I'll just set that to that as the visible one. Actually, out of curiosity, if I create a new animation cell here, um, in this second layer, and I switch between these two, even though there's nothing in them yet. Okay, that's cool. So it'll like uh, link all of the all of all of these cells are linked to frames, and if I click the uh, first frame cell in one folder, it will uh, over here on the right display the first frame cell in the other folders as well. So that's good for me. This arm's a little fucked up. It got a little bit chopped up uh, in the rough animation. But that's what we're here to take care of. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I went and clicked the... Uh, save in PSD button instead of the undo button. Let's see. How should we do this? It is like... inside a sleeve. So maybe we make it a little thicker than the arm otherwise would be. But I want to I don't want to put too much detail into this.
That's good enough. I shouldn't be stressing about this too much. <laughs> it's a moving, it's a moving image. This frame will be seen for fractions of a second. How big do I want this, uh, this handball to be? Probably not as large as it is in the rough. The circle is uh, my only naturally occurring predator. The circle will eat me alive. How's that? That's something. Uh, maybe we bring it down this way a little bit more. I don't know if I ever played a uh, Wii Sports Resort, which is what this this song is from. Uh, but this kind of rules. There was like an era of uh, music in like weird Nintendo Wii games, like the all of the menu music in Wii games, like the the Wii Shop theme and like the the me maker theme and all that stuff that rules like they didn't have to they didn't have to go as hard as they did uh, making those now we draw again but another frame fortunately this is a very simple animation I only have to draw this like five times Uh, maybe that's a little high. Let's bring this in a little bit. Here we go. Mario Sunshine Music. Another game I would love to play on stream. Mario Sunshine fucking rules. Oh, uh, you know, I think I'm drawing on the... I My brain started drawing along the blue, which is not what I want. Maybe we turn off the, uh, the onion skin for now. What that does is when I select a layer, it's displaying in blue and green, um the frames previous and before uh, which which helps me know where I want to place um, where I want to place my frames I don't know how to explain that better uh, actually maybe I do want that on just so I can see where I had the shirt cuff previously yeah okay Now arm goes up this way. And shirt cuff would be around here somewhere. Uh, let's fix this line. Not like that. <laughs> bring this one. Oh no, it's fine the way it is. These two frames are really close together. Uh, which is what I want. I don't know why it looks good that way. Something about some principle of animation. I'm bad at teaching people things and I'm bad at remembering things. So I'm not gonna try. 
I'm just going to follow my uh, instincts. How does this look? I know it's two frames, but I'm not gonna really see how it looks. Uh, that's fine. I'm wondering if I would be better off uh, uniformity-wise trying to just kind of bend and manipulate the same image uh, across the different frames, which is basically what I did over here. And uh, we'll 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 finish doing it this way and see how it looks. Uh, just to check here, though, let me bend this down a bit and see how well it lines up with previous frame. Not very well. Uh, the sleeve is fine. I think I want to... Um, redo the hand. I can already tell this is a little big, but we can... Squash, squash it after. Probably move this center point to actually be in the center. Do we shrink this a little? Yeah, there we go. Uh, maybe a little more. That looks better. One on fong. It's probably just gonna keep uh, calling the animation layers as letters. I'm gonna have to rename them myself. Uh. I'm gonna be right back. Watch this. Here's a little waving animation for you.
Okay. This... This video sounds like it's a little louder than the last one. Maybe we turn it down. A little bit. Let's stop that. Uh, where were we? Let's back down. Oh, that's right. We just finished two of five frames. And this one, uh, the difference between this frame and the first two, in terms of the amount of space between them, is much greater. Uh, this is my middle frame. Probably still have the uh, the bottom of the top part of the arm. I forget what that's fucking called. Uh, in about the same place. You know, that's the thing about just checking my first two frames here. Yeah, that part doesn't move much, and that's fine. Uh. This is a mostly. It's mo all, the most of the motion here is from the elbow. So I don't need to worry about moving the uh, upper arm and shoulder too much. Trying to decide if I want this tangent here. It wasn't there in the other frames. Let's draw a new line. Uh, well, maybe we. Yeah, about there. It's a little thicker. Oh, this is so familiar. What is this from? <laughs> Let's see if I can guess. Oh, this is something I played so much. What is it? <laughs> uh, it is a Nintendo game, because that's what this playlist is. Uh, hmm... Oh, is this... Is this from New Leaf? I think it is. Let's check. Was I right? Yeah, it's Hortimer Island from New Leaf. I don't even remember what you did on Tortimer Island. I mean, was it the same as all the other Animal Crossing games? Where you just go out there and... Uh... Do beach stuff? But most players were using it to, like, farm rare beetles. I think that is what Tortimer Island was in New Leaf. Just a place to go catch expensive beetles and farm money. Selection got weird there.
Maybe we shrink this a little bit. Is this comparable in size? Oh, it's just a little bit. Uh... There we go. See, that's about... Yeah, that's about the same. We're really, uh... Really moving along here. Uh, oh, that's right. New animation shell. Thrift! Please. <laughs> I know it's gonna do that every time. Uh, this has got to be like Galaxy 2, right? <laughs> the B plot of this stream is just me playing guessing games to see. Uh,. If I, if I know what music is playing. Yeah, it is Galaxy 2. I haven't played Galaxy 2 in a long time. I had a lot of fun revisiting Mario Galaxy when uh, Mario 3D All-Stars Collection came out. Which is very weird. I wish that uh, 3D All-Stars was like... I don't know. I feel like they didn't put as much effort into it into the port as they could have. Also, the uh, exclusion of Mario Galaxy 2 was weird. Uh, right. Time to resume drawing. Over. Is this fucking Nintendogs? No. <laughs> it's uh, Earthbound, which I've never played. on uh, transparent there. <laughs> As I'm going through and lining this, I find I uh, can't really decide what shape I want the um, forearm sleeve area to be. That's fine. All of my shortcomings will be made up for by the fact that this is going to have motion and color. Once it's moving, it'll look fine. Oh, that's a very weird shape. That's not really the shape that it's been previously. I don't think it has this much of a curve here.
Looks like I've also made it maybe a teensy bit thinner than before. That's okay. Uh, maybe we just bring this down a bit. Uh, that's an awkward selection. Let's try this. Uh, this whole thing got fucked up. Let's let's back up a bit. Okay, first of all, maybe this is a little wider. Second of all, not so much on the curve there. And now we look a little closer. Uh, maybe a little too much. Oops, <laughs> deleted the whole thing. I am so grateful for the undo button. A little small. Uh, how's this? Yeah, that's pretty close. Does look a little lopsided though. Bring it in over here. Maybe on this side. There we go. Uh, last frame. Put a new animation cell here. Foos! Five.
This one sounds familiar too. I'm gonna guess Mario Kart. Yep, Double Dash. I know a lot of people who say Double Dash is their favorite Mario Kart. Double Dash is good. Uh, I think I like Mario Kart Wii better. Mario Kart Wii has a good ass soundtrack. Maybe I'll play that next. When this uh, playlist is over. All we gotta do is draw one more hand, orb, one more orb. It's a good start on the curve there. Uh, I fucked it up. Hold on. There we go. Uh, it's a little wide, but we can smush it. center over here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Now let's see how this looks when we go, to, go into our timeline and uh, what was the order that I put these on the first one? One, two, three, four, five, four, three, four, five, four, three, two. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And then four, three, four. Let's uh, link these. Four. Uh, five, four, three, two. Oh, I guess just five, four, three, because the little bracket here. Two isn't included. I probably did that so that it would. Uh, I don't remember why. Three. And if we did that right, we should now have ourselves an animation. That looks all right. Now we just gotta color it in. Uh, let's call this folder um, long sleeve A. And this one is just. Uh, Arm sketch. Probably need uh, another, yet another animation folder here. Call this one. Uh, 
Now we get to color. First I should probably color in... Um... Under here. Let's... Uh... Let's grab colors from this here. That doesn't look quite right. I mean, I know that's, like, the exact color that that is in that drawing, but that's not that close to my hair color. That's a little closer. It's way more saturated, but that's how cartoons do. The fill's a little sloppy, uh, but we will fix that in a second once we're done plopping down all of the colors. Oh, this looks all kinds of fucked up with that on underneath. Uh, should probably just move my little reference picture here so that I don't have to keep toggling on and off these layers uh... where did we go? here we go what happened? Oh, are the edges of that fucking PNG all the way over here? Hold on. It's a lot of white space. Uh, can I not delete outside selection? Hold on. I think I need to rasterize this first. Before it'll let me fuck with it. There you go. Now you're not gonna be in our way. Oh, right, I forgot to color in that part there. Now let's see, how should I go about coloring in this shirt? I think I'll start with, um, off-white, yellowish sort of color. Yeah, that works. Why does that... Oh, it's because there's just a tiny bit of blank space over there. Put a little dot there so that doesn't happen. Oh, that's going to be a problem down here, too. Let's do the same thing. And then... This is just going to be black. I don't want to use pure black. Uh, that'll look fine. Oh no, wait. We don't want it to be darker than our line color. What's our exact line color here? Uh, let's go to that pickup color from layer function again. It's down there. Okay, so we want this to be like a little bit less than that, maybe a different shade. That's good. Uh, there. Uh, 
maybe a little less saturation on that. Maybe a lot less saturation on that. There we go. And we'll worry about the sleeve color later. Okay, so what I want to do now is... Uh, select... The... My brain... Turned off. Hold on. <laughs> Rebooting. I'm loading. Basically what we want to do is, oh, since I've got my lines in separate layers, this is going to be weird. Can I do this? I can't. It'll only refer to one layer at a time. Okay, you know what? We don't need to do that. We can just come up here. Yeah, there we go. And maybe... Smooth that out a bit. And readjust some of these so it doesn't look as strange. Let's bring this over a bit. Maybe I should be using the rough pencil so that it matches the uh, texture, short, sort of. That's good enough. Uh, maybe a little more over here on the uh, collar flaps. Boundaries on the face parts are looking pretty good. Let's just do this. Uh, I guess the uh, irises here are looking kind of weird. Let's fill these in too. Coloring can get a little trickier when I'm using these rough pencil lines because they're not as dense and clean as the uh, other line tool I usually use color bleeds through underneath them a little bit. Okay. Now what I want to do is uh, let's create a um, mask here. I don't know why the 
maybe maybe up the threshold on that a little bit so that it grabs more uh, how about now uh, a little more maybe 15 there we go let's erase that Mask outside selection. Oops. I guess I want a new layer for that. Now we can draw in what the shirt actually looks like. Gonna simplify this a bit, because I don't think this will translate well. Uh, but I do have, like, um, oh, am I still using the, the really specific color picker? I want this one back now. Okay, so let's maybe bring that over here a bit, change it to purple or something so it's a little different. Yeah, there we go. This shirt does a something like this. Uh, yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm drawing on the wrong layer. Hang on. Does it something like this? No, I probably don't need that many. Let's make this a little thicker. Have the lines further apart. There we go. You know, I probably need another layer underneath this one. Let's give that the same mask. Maybe a little lighter, a little more towards... There we go. Uh, maybe I didn't need to make it that orange. Oh yeah. It goes like this. bit. Then at the spot, 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 spots where it intersects. Gets like a darker red. I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like the way this is turning out. Try this again with a lower opacity so that when it um 
when it overlaps. Oh, wrong layer. Uh, let's try 70-ish. There we go. So now if I do this... Okay, now let's try that again with the red. Need to remake that layer. Or the mask, rather, the layer's still there. looks kind of shitty. We'll we'll make it work. Figure something out. If all else fails, maybe I just try to draw a different shirt. I don't want any gaps between these. There we go. It's close enough. Overlap there, we don't need. Then this goes like this. Okay, okay, now we're getting closer to how this actually looks. Uh, that looks a little weird. Whatever. Didn't want to include this in, like, the, when I was drawing the over, the, the I don't know how to explain this. quite right.
Maybe we... Oh, did I accidentally draw on the wrong layer again? Yeah, I drew some of this directly onto the... Hold on, let's fix that. Uh... Hmm. You know, I'm just now realizing that uh, animating this shirt pattern on that moving sleeve is going to be hell, but, you know, maybe we give it a shot. Uh, first, though, I wanted to make this color maybe just a little less saturated. I think that looks a little better. Let's uh, get rid of some of this overlap here. It's kind of a mess with these shirt pockets here. You can't really... Uh, let's just get rid of them. There we go. Let's get the uh, mask covering more of the area there. It's a little lost on the edges. This area over here is all fucked up, isn't it? Let's see what we can do about that. Uh, mostly I think we maybe just don't look too hard at it. Yeah.
Okay. I think we've got our base now. Uh, uh, let's try to clean this up just a little bit. Okay. Now we just have to color. Oop! <laughs> I colored in that hand uh, like a moron. Let's see here. That shouldn't be like that. I should have known better. That color needs to be in this other layer. This is going to be kind of tricky though, because when you're working within the animation folders, it doesn't let you do things in the same way. Let's just start at one and dive right in, huh? Actually, how does the fill tool interact with... Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna need a whole new animation. Oh, I already made one. We're good. the wrong color picker again. I think I'm going to be a little less picky about uh, the cleanliness of the colors on the sleeve here. Uh, let's see. How do we look now? What happened? Oh, it's because the other frames aren't set yet. Let's see, this one needs to be four. 
And then we have three, four, five, four, and three. How's that look? Okay. Uh, let's go back down here and clean this edge up just a little bit, tiny bit. This looks bad too. See what I can do about this. Uh, no, that needs to be this color. Is that better? That's a little better. Let's get that other color picker back. Um, let's start with the black, I guess, uh, which means I need to have this layer selected. Transparent on all of these. Oh, let's see. What direction would this even go? Probably something like this. that now let's go along the bottom but better what is this brush that I'm using I'm not gonna bother checking <laughs> uh, let's delete that oh that's not what I wanted at all uh, we'll worry about we'll worry about cleaning it up after. Why do things get so weird when I stop like that? It's probably just I should not be using this brush for this. That's okay. Things get weird anyway when you're at the there. That's good enough. Did I already swap? No, this is the right color picker. Why isn't it? Oh, because that's all over here now. Uh, we want the red now. Let's see if this works correctly. It should. That's quite the same. Probably close enough, right? Like I said, I'm going to be less picky about the colors on the sleeve here.
Yeah, it doesn't quite look right. Probably should have put the red down first and then the black. It can be a little sloppy. That's okay. Uh, let's get that color back. Do I have like a a color history that I could be using? What does this do? Oh. That's not what I want. Uh, let's see. Color history. I do. Let's put that up. Can I? Can I move this? Is that what this is? Oh, you know what? I have my. Um, yeah, I do have my palette positions locked so it won't let me there we go I'll put that up there and then I will lock this again so that I don't move anything around by accident did I check the right thing just now yes I did okay uh, here we go This is the nighttime version of that Tortimer Island theme. This is the one I heard more often. Because it's got to be late at night to get those rare beetles. close enough, right? Maybe on the next frame we try and uh, put the red down first. Let's see, it was about here. Things got all fucked up. Hang on. Playlist ended. 
started auto playing something else. Video had an ad at the beginning. I muted it. Let's hope it's the only one. Oh, uh, let's clean that up. All right, now we do the black lines. Come on now, there we go. Oh, uh oh. Looks like we got a weird, weird little area over here on the sleeve cuff. Can we unlock transparency and fill that in? We can. It's weird looking. Let's blur it a bit. There we go. Uh, right. Now we do the... They're below the red ones. Did I fuck this up? No, it's about right. It's gonna look a little weird. Just smudge the weird areas until they look less weird. There. I think that's good. Uh, we want that to be this color. Maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe animating a shirt with a pattern on it was a bad idea. <laughs> it's probably gonna look horrible. It's already looking like it's maybe gonna be kinda horrible. Should we even bother finishing? Uh, or should we just change the shirt to a solid color? Try to finish anyway. See if I can power through it. Uh... Okay. Did I do something wrong? Oh, that was the smudge tool. Let's, there we go.
Is that correct? No, I didn't have that there on the other layer. Yeah, this is gonna come out really wobbly. Maybe that's okay? I think I for sure bit off more than I could chew with this. Maybe it won't look too shitty. Oh, let's get this the way it's supposed to be. enough whatever I guess that's not the worst let's get this last frame done
Okay. How does this look? Uh... You know what? Considering I have no idea what I'm doing... Almost no idea what I'm doing. Uh, that's pretty good. I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna let all that sloppiness slide. Okay. Uh... This is gonna be transparent, though. So let's get rid of this, um... Paper layer. And actually, let's put down, like... Something horrible, like a very bright... Lime green. Uh... So that... I can see the spots, yeah. The spots where it... Um... Is gonna be no good. Uh... Maybe we... Maybe we duplicate... This... Layer folder. Uh... Move that down... Underneath... Uh... Long sleeve A... Color... Base... We can put like. Uh, should I do it like this? Uh, I'm gonna. Whether this is a good idea or not. Just gonna put like a uh, layer of white underneath this. Oh, unlock transparency, please. Oh, but this is gonna be. Okay. Let's do this one. Oh, this is one of the best, uh, this is one of the best tracks on the Mario Kart Wii soundtrack. It's very nice. You know what, maybe I shouldn't be doing it like this. Let's try just, uh... Let's try just going like this. Maybe... Yeah, maybe this will be enough on each layer. change it so it's not covering up this line here as soon as my program lets me move again. Oh really? What happened here? I thought this was like on top of a line. Uh, maybe it isn't. Uh, or, I guess it is, this, there used to be like a line here dividing everything, did it just get eaten? Oh, no, it's just on top of everything else. I don't understand why that's happening. Uh... Hmm. Cause it's this where that line is, right? Yeah. Uh, you 
You know what? Can we just move these? Uh... Can we move these to the top and still be fine? Like that won't break anything? No. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's get rid of this awful green layer. And now I guess... We try exporting it? I don't know, uh... How this is gonna work. Do GIFs support transparency? I think they do. What? Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh... Yeah, so... Hmm. Oh. Unlimited loops. Wait a minute, what does that mean? I guess we'll just set it to unlimited. Why does it... File is larger than the target size, change the settings and export again? But they, it, didn't, it didn't list the target size. Uh, maybe, let's just see what it did export. It exported partially. see what this does. Uh, you know what, let's try exporting it with just one loop. And then in playback I'm assuming it should uh, in most places, even if it's looping only once, it'll just keep repeating forever. I don't know why it keeps giving me that error message. Oh. It just stops. Huh. That's unusual. I thought most GIFs just looped infinitely. Okay, let me uh, Google this error message it's giving me, because I have no idea what it's trying to tell me. Oh, you can't even see that on stream. That's okay. I think, I'm, I think I'm exporting at the wrong frame rate. Uh, let's see. What am I... Uh, playback setting... I don't remember what my settings were when I started with this. 
Uh, I bet if I try to make a new animation, it'll tell me what my timeline settings and stuff were. Oh, okay. this correct? Uh, still giving me an error message. I don't know what what's going wrong. The GIF playback is just fine now though. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the deal with this is. But now we have this. Let's come into Streamlabs here. And uh, See, it's over my alert box settings. Uh, where was that? Follow. Let's see if this works. Uh, so if I tell it to do this, oh, that's, it's not showing up. Let's give it a second. Oh no, it's not transparent though. But it should be. Huh. Maybe GIFs can't be transparent. I could have sworn they could. Huh. Let me try exporting it again, see if there was some setting that I missed. It's just a dithering option here. I don't know what that does. Uh, let's try exporting it as it's like a different file type. An animated PNG? That's a thing? Let's try it. Still giving me the incomplete message. 
Uh, I don't know what's wrong with that. Let's see if Streamlabs will even play this weird animated PNG. Probably won't, because I tried to open it for my file explorer and that didn't work. Oh, it does. It actually does play this. So now let's test that again. Yeah, let's change the layout of that. Uh, how about that? Oh, that's incorrect. <laughs> Maybe it just takes it a second to update it. Uh, let's try like this. There we go. Is that alert box always so high up? Can we move this to the bottom here? Uh, no, I grabbed the game capture by accident. Let's, uh, alert box. No, stop it. Keeps grabbing my game capture instead of my alert box. Uh, it's not even perfectly centered. I would like it to be, though. Uh, let's try it again. Maybe scoot that down. Okay. So now we have that. Um, let's save this. I don't know if I want to add anything else to that. Just thinking of maybe shading it or something. I think maybe it looks fine the way it is. It doesn't show up super well. It's a little small, I think. Maybe I did want my lines thicker than they are. But I know I wasn't going to be able to make something like super good and perfect. Uh... I don't know if I want to move on to the next one, because I'm not sure if I even want to use it, but uh, I did, I did make, I did make this last night, this horrifying thing, um, it's, it's, uh, it's my avatar eating a big old stick of meat, um, that I was going to use for subscription. Um, alerts. And the reason for that is because uh, my, my subscription alert is this. It plays it plays so tasty sound effect. Oh no, that's way down there. Why is this one so much... Oh, hold on. This, this message is so much lower than the other one. Why? I'll have to figure all of this out off stream. Uh, you know what, maybe I'm, maybe I'm good for the day, uh, I think I'm gonna end stream, I might start a different stream, nah, I'm trying to decide what I want to do next, maybe I'm just good, maybe I'm just good for the day, uh, I was thinking of switching over to like Majora's Mask Randomizer or something, 
But I think I'm good. Uh, yeah. This this was a weird little experiment. Uh, thanks to anybody who stopped by. I'll see you next time.